live from beautiful Stake of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshoe buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. Hot. Good meal first down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pad, coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. This <laughs> one, I don't do it. First down and forever. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Nine, nine, one. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yeah, man, I was going to hit him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there.
Second down and five. Ah, and the defense jumps on side. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. Pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Man, this guy's like a human cannonball. First down! Man, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot, one, eight. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hot, one, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick of hit. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Hot. Hot one. Hey. Man, what a hit that was. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Kick is good. And as it 
expected. Those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. <laughs> don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And it's first and ten. Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beat for Brain Cram with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bet. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and six. Hot, hot one. Punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? 
Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. Only. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and three. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second and three. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. That hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot. First down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. He got you play a car and die. I just call that storm. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a car for Washington home. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! 
Second and three. A pickup of about three on that play. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And that'll bring up third down and inches. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven what and kick the kicker's job in half they'd just be called sitters then the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. the ball to explode and the defensive player got blown to bits <laughs> second down and ten hot, hot one hot two That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this pass for me. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Hot two, hey. Second down and a lot. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not young. Third down and six. Hey. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like no receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I 
First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down and inches. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Defense goes for speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Hey, Griffin, you ever notice that when you try? His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Oh, sweet mother of fornicating monkeys. He was destroyed on that play. You ever been in a monkey house at the zoo, partner? Disturbing to say the least. Just like this.
And that'll bring up third down and seven. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Second down and more than the QB would like. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and four. Talk about 
Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It's good. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, snap them into the ground. And it looks like the... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Nice run for five yards. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and 10. Receiver is supposed to move away from the ball on the bomb's way dirty trick. The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bank. 
bench. He dropped it, you putts. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. The defense pulled a one-speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. First and ten. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Six-yard gain. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. On to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And that's 
that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. The offense has only two linemen left on the offense, and he'll need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say mean things about short people, Grim. At least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. second half <laughs> and up comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter and that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that they just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and nine. They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. What? And that's a pick. And now... Ah! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. 
The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. I'm a once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it.